Learning to convey atmosphere in your paintings is a powerful tool to make your art irresistible. It can make people stop in their tracks and think, oh my god, as they feel a warm feeling inside of them. But this is not as simple as just painting a sunset. There's a system of steps that we have to take to convey a certain type of movement in our paintings. When looking at the work of master artists, we see that there are two things that they do very well to achieve great atmosphere. They have great color harmony and great value structures, but it's not one or the other, they use both. But which one is the easiest one of the two, and how can we learn to see and use these structures? I will talk about my approach while painting outside, since today I wanted to do exactly that. Focus on conveying the atmosphere of a rainy day. The first thing that we have to notice when we're trying to convey atmosphere is what type of light are we under or what type of light are, is our subject under. And in my case today, it's an overcast day, so there's not very much harsh light and there's not very like bright colors either. So what this tells me is that the, the only way for me to create some contrast and some depth and as well atmosphere is that all the colors that I put down must be able to communicate with each other. So how do colors actually communicate? When we're looking at the color wheel, we always see that the colors are basically separate from each other except for the colors that are touching each other or adjacent to each other. The, this, is what, this is what we call the analogous colors, right? So the colors that are opposite, which we call complementary, the only way for them to communicate is through the center. And the only way to get the op each opposite color to the center is mixing it with its opposite color. For example, I am mixing yellow and lavender, which are basically opposites. And when first putting them down, they look quite gray and not very saturated. But the more that I add one or the other besides each other, you start to see a separation, especially when you, you use one color more than the other. So for example, when it's, when I'm getting closer to the horizon, I add more lavender and a little bit more blue to make it cooler. And when I'm getting closer to the top of the sky, I use more yellow, making it warmer. And since I'm also using the same amount of water for each, then their value remains very close to each other. I have to be a little bit more careful with the lavender and the blue, because blue is technically just by nature darker than yellow. So I have to add more water to the blue. Another way to convey more of the rainy day kind of vibe is to have a lot of soft edges since there's not a harsh light there's not harsh shadows or anything that is very cut and dry especially the landmass or those mountains even though they are much more darker in value there's not a very very harsh line going through it and i will add that land well, everything is still wet, therefore it will still give me that sense of distance and as well of that the saturation that I need for conveying this type of atmosphere. I find it easier to work in two parts, first working on the sky and then working on the, the bigger mid-valley shape. That way I have more control of knowing which type of value I'm trying to convey and I can only and I only have to focus on what color I'm trying to portray or what color temperature really and this just makes it easier than trying to think like oh what color do I use or how light is this color you just have to think okay I'm doing the light area now so all the colors that I'm doing now are light therefore your wash is lighter and also you only have to think, oh, what is the color temperature of this area? Is it had to be warm? Is it had to be cool? And then you just move on to the mid value and repeat the process. I do have to admit that in this painting, I kind of screwed up the back mountains and I didn't actually get them in the right temperature, but we all make mistakes and that's okay. 
and my mid value shape also has some problems but i believe that this is mainly because the paper wasn't drying quick enough so i can actually put a thicker layer of paint the final step would be to add darks but since this scene has no d real darks i mean they're so subtle that it's so hard to actually get them right i was just too scared of adding them so i didn't <laughs> but that's my system i go one wash second wash third wash but in each wash i'm seeing wh what temperature the color needs to be and then i move on to the next value and so on this approach has been working very well for me i hope that you try it and thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow